Yu Darvish and Masahiro Tanaka are two generational talents, and either one has a case as the greatest pitcher in Nippon professional baseball history. But who is better? Both pitchers played in Japan for seven years before going to Major League Baseball, and they both pitched in the Pacific League, so it's a pretty fair comparison. Darvish is two years older than Tanaka, and both pitchers blew away the competition in high school, as Darvish posted a 1.10 ERA with 375 strikeouts, while Tanaka had a 1.31 ERA with 458 strikeouts during their amateur careers. The Nippon Ham Fighters, who had just moved from Tokyo to Hokkaido, won the rights to Darvish in the 2004 MPB draft. Two years later, in the 2006 draft, the Fighters bid on Masahiro Tanaka, but it was the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles that won the bid. Just imagine if the Fighters would have successfully drafted both Darvish and Tanaka. Darvish made his debut on June 15, 2005 against the Hiroshima Carp and threw eight shutout innings before allowing back-to-back -back home runs in the ninth. Regardless, he won his first career start and became the 12th rookie pitcher out of high school in MPB history to win their professional debut. Later that year, on September 18th, he tossed a complete game shutout against the Rakuten Eagles as he finished the year with a 3.53 ERA and 52 strikeouts in 94.1 innings. Tanaka, on the other hand, made his debut on March 29, 2007 and got knocked out in the second inning after surrendering six runs on six hits and a walk. But he bounced back from the poor debut and threw a complete game on April 18th, striking out 13 while allowing just two runs, as he became the first rookie pitcher out of high school since Yu Darvish himself to toss a complete game. He won the Rookie of the Year award that season, throwing 186.1 innings with 196 strikeouts and a 3.82 ERA. Tanaka was impressive, but it was Yu Darvish who stole the show, as he followed up the Fighters' 2006 Japan Series Championship by breaking out with a 1.82 ERA with 210 strikeouts in 207.2 innings, as he took home the Sawamura Award and Pacific League MVP. In 2008, Tanaka and Darvish played together on the Japanese national team at the Beijing Olympics. Neither pitcher performed very well, but it was certainly an important experience for the 19-year-old Tanaka and 21-year-old Darvish. Darvish continued to dominate the league until his departure to the Texas Rangers in 2012, as he posted an ERA under 2.0 for five consecutive seasons, developing his deep pitch arsenal and winning another MVP award in 2009 along the way. Meanwhile, Tanaka continued to develop his impeccable control and had his first real breakout season in 2011 and posted three consecutive seasons of ERAs under two until his departure to the New York Yankees in 2014. In two of those years, his ERA was a mind-blowing 1.27, highlighted by his now infamous 24-0 record, where he led the Eagles to a Japan Series in 2013. He won the Sawamura Award in 2011 and 2013, and the Pacific League MVP in 2013. So both Darvish and Tanaka threw for seven years in Japan before crossing the Pacific. And on the surface, Darvish's numbers look better. His ERA is 31 points better at 1.99 versus 2.30. His Ks per 9 are 40 points better at 8.87 versus 8.47. And his WHIP is 123 points better at 0.985 versus 1.108. But upon further examination, the numbers are much closer than what initially meets the eye. Tanaka's FIP is 11 points better at 2.77 versus 2.88 and he put up 1.5 more wins above replacement at 39.6 versus 38.1. But for context, it's important to recognize that the run scoring environment in MPB was at an all-time low in 2011 and 2012, while the balls were juiced in 2013. So Darvish only got to pitch one year in the hyper-pitching favored environment, while Tanaka got two seasons out of it. Their numbers are really something to marvel at, and the more you dig, the more similarities you find. They threw the exact same number of shutouts with 18, they almost won the same number of games with 93 for Darvish and 99 for Tanaka, and they almost struck out the same number of batters with 1,250 for Darvish and 1,238 for Tanaka. So where do they differ? Well, Tanaka is definitely the better control pitcher. From 2011 to 2013, Tanaka only walked 78 batters in 611 innings. That's good for a walk rate of just 3.2%. Darvish was by no means wild, but his career 6.7% walk rate is noticeably worse than Tanaka's 5.2%. 
But Darvish made up for this by being the better strikeout pitcher. He led the league in Ks three times, whereas Tanaka only did once. And he only achieved this after Darvish left the league. Darvish became a strikeout machine all the way back in 2007, but his final season in Japan was particularly impressive, where he struck out 276 batters in 232 innings. That's good for 10.7 Ks per nine, or a 31.2% strikeout rate. His career strikeout rate of 25.1% is also much better than Tanaka at 23.3%. That's where strikeout rate minus walk rate is a useful statistic. And for their careers, the two are nearly identical at 18.4% for Darvish and 18.1% for Tanaka. Although Tanaka has the better K minus BV percent plus at 163 versus 149. This is a weighted statistic across the league, so Tanaka was 63% above average, whereas Darvish was 49% above average. So Tanaka gets the edge here. But there's one area where Darvish is the clear-cut winner, and that's hits allowed. Opposing batters hit 242 against Tanaka, whereas Darvish held the opposition to a 204 average. That's the difference between 8.1 hits per 9 innings for Tanaka and just 6.5 hits allowed per 9 innings for Darvish. That's why Darvish managed to post a whip below 1 for his career despite walking more hitters. As far as keeping the ball in the yard, they're pretty similar, but Darvish gets the slight edge with a home run percent minus of 57 against Tanaka's 65. The same goes for left on base percent plus, where Darvish is a bit better at 111 versus Tanaka's 109. Again, these are weighted statistics, so it takes the run scoring environment into account as well. So it seems Darvish is moderately better across the board, with a couple of exceptions. But what about peak performance? Darvish may have had five straight seasons with an ERA under 2.0, but the best ERA of his career was 1.44, whereas Tanaka put up a 1.27 ERA not once but twice, and shocked the world with an undefeated 24-0 record in 2013. However, as it turns out, Tanaka's 2013 wasn't even his best. In fact, his peripherals indicate that his 2011 and 2012 seasons were even better, as he had a better K% percent and FIP in both of those years. But neither of those seasons are better than Darvish's 2011 campaign, where his 1.46 FIP is the best in modern MPB history. That said, Tanaka is victorious when it comes to sheer volume, as he threw 47 more innings and two more complete games than Darvish, and thus the higher war as well. Darvish has battled injuries in the majors and hit a rough patch for about a year and a half, but has incredibly rebounded into the best form of his career entering 2021. Tanaka had his fair share of struggles, but largely lived up to the enormous contract he signed with the Yankees, as he now returns to Tohoku and will now be able to add to his MPB numbers. Darvish has put up a 3.47 ERA with a 3.27 XFIP throughout his eight seasons in MLB, whereas Tanaka has posted a 3.74 ERA with a 3.52 XFIP in his seven MLB seasons. So once again, Darvish is a bit better. He's accomplished this through a seemingly infinite pitch arsenal that he continues to add to every year. Darvish probably has the deepest pitch repertoire in the world, let alone Japan. Meanwhile, Tanaka established himself as one of the best sinker ballers in the league with amazing command and an extensive resume of clutch playoff success. Perhaps Darvish will have a homecoming of his own to Japan at some point, and that will merit some reassessing, but as of right now, the verdict is that both Darvish and Tanaka are generational phenoms, but according to their numbers, Yu Darvish is the better pitcher because he has Tanaka beat in pretty much every category except walks and postseason success, but it is pretty close overall. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPB content in English.